For a time, the symbol of the eagle in Europe was strongly associated with fascism, often connected to the Nazi swastika or Italian fascis. Symbolism was important to fascist leaders such as Adolf Hitler or Benito Mussolini. Symbolism that can draw on the credibility or weight of European history was all the better to help strengthen the idea of new 1,000-year empires. The German Imperial Eagle was typically clutching a swastika in World War II, a marriage of two vastly different symbols. The word swastika comes from Sanskrit, which means good fortune or well-being. It's a symbol strongly associated with Eurasia and Eastern religions predating Christianity. However, the symbol does appear in some European archaeology. Racially motivated scholars and linguists of the early 20th century came to associate the symbol with an Aryan identity and German nationalist pride. What is the sacred symbol of Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Odinism would become one of the strongest symbols of fascism the world has ever known. The eagle, however, has been a symbol of continuity in Europe used by governments and rulers for over 2,000 years. The eagle clutching the swastika was actually inspired by Italian nationalist insignia. Both the Italian nationalists and Nazis share the same origin of the eagle, the Roman Empire. The Reichsadler, or Imperial Eagle, is the heraldic eagle, derived from the famous Roman eagle standard. The Romans used an aquila, Latin for eagle, as a powerful symbol of empire throughout ancient Rome, particularly as the standard of a Roman legion. A legionary known as an aquilifer, or eagle bearer, carried a standard within each legion. Bacchus, something more cheerful. After the Romans, the Imperial Eagle would be used significantly by the German Roman Emperors, heads of state of the Holy Roman Empire, through to the Second German Empire, Weimar Republic, Nazi Germany, and all the way to modern Germany. Despite Hitler's grand illusions for a thousand-year empire, the Nazi Party's use of the Eagle would only be a brief stain in Germany's historic use of the symbol. It is thought the first use of the German Imperial Eagle dates back to Charlemagne, the first Frankish ruler whom the Pope coronated as Holy Roman Emperor in 800 AD, uniting much of Western Europe. The Franks were a Germanic people who invaded the Western Roman Empire in the 5th century. During the 12th century, the black eagle against a golden background was generally recognized as the emblem of the Holy Roman Empire. In the 13th century, during the reign of Frederick II, the double-headed eagle first appeared, and from the 15th century onwards, would come to represent the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, with the single-headed eagle symbolizing German royalty. The double-headed eagle symbolized the Holy Roman Empire until its dissolution in 1806. The German Confederation, founded in 1815 to replace the Holy Roman Empire, readopted the double-headed eagle in 1848. In 1871, during the formation of the German Empire, the Prussian King and German Kaiser Wilhelm I adopted the single-headed royal eagle with red beak, tongue, and talons, above its head, the crown of Charlemagne. During the Weimar Republic, the single-headed eagle was retained, after the Nazi party came to power in 1933, Adolf Hitler in 1935 made the eagle, combined with the Nazi swastika, the national emblem, for which the Nazi party also adopted, called the Party Adler, or Party's Eagle. These two insignia can be distinguished, as the Imperial Eagle looks to the right, whereas the Party's Eagle looks to the left. Hitler wanted to mark his Third Reich, with one of Europe's oldest symbols of empire, believing the Holy Roman Empire represented the First Reich, and the German Empire the second.
1950, after World War II, the Federal Republic of Germany re-implemented the eagle used by the Weimar Republic. In the German Democratic Republic, or Eastern Germany, the eagle was not part of the state coat of arms. The coat of arms would become a hammer and compass, encircled with rye. Since reunification in 1990, the Federal Eagle has once again been the emblem of the whole of Germany. Alright, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this brief on the history of the German heraldic eagle. It's a complex subject, so if you want to expand on anything, feel free to do so in the comments section below, and we'll see you in the next video.